Hello everyone, Dylan of Dill Days here with another LEGO Star Wars Summer 2022 review and this was on the Ambush on Ferrix that is now released. And also my first review from the Disney Plus show Andor and also our first Andor set of course. Yeah. So on the front of the box here we have the same similar kind of border that we've seen since the beginning of the year but also on my BD1 review that this which was to be a different shade of gray to that actually it's kind of the same but yeah but instead of the Jedi Fallen Order logo now with the with Cassie Andor and a stormtrooper there showing representing that it's Andor of course you see picture of the set coming on down with it and the three minifigs included and recommended ages is nine and up set number seven five Three three eight has six hundred seventy nine pieces, and on the back, of which see it in a resting position and battle going on of the minifigs and all the features of it, and yeah. And now onto the instruction manual, of which different picture than on the front, of which like we've been seeing with a lot of sets lately, but yeah. Also, advertisement of how they're transitioning to paper bags, of course, on the back, how to win on the online survey, and all the pieces that come with the set, which is three pages, and also out of all the summer set, 2022 sets, of course, and then the last step. to the mini figs included with this set. So first off is the lead technist of the show of which Cassie and Andor. And this of which also our our first time of having since like 2017 for Rogue One of course but as you see has different skin tone than the previous versions but face face printing kind of similar to the past versions of course and also the Torso print and leg prints all look good for that. And this hair piece of which, same as old Luke Skywalker's from 2018, of course, but used quite goodly here, of course. And, uh, hang on. Alright. Now on to Luthen Rail. Who, which from first glance, Looks kind of close to that of Tobias Beckett from the uh, Solo wave of sets, of course, but, well, similar face print and hair piece of which, but at least the torso print and leg print, all quite unique and different to that. And also, uh, does have the kind of old style blaster that some of the earlier uh, Clone Wars clone troopers all have. Not sure what's up with that, but. At least nice to see right here, of course. The last of which is a uh, Cyril Karn. Uh, how do you say that? But, yeah. Not sure if I'm saying that right since the show hasn't come on yet. But yeah. But aside from that, that the that he from first glance does look kind of close to a Bespin a Cloud City guard, of course. But which you don't see very much, of course. But at least has some unique printing to him, both on the cap and uh, front torso printing on that, but also not only like printing, kind of odd, but the face printed which just the same, same kind as Bruce Wayne Loki's for like a decade, of course. But also holding a small blaster there, and on the backs of back on each one of them, as you see, they all of which do have. Some back torso printing with hoods going over under them, of course, and also the not only back head printing for Cyril, and also some good uh, front back torso printing as well. Yeah. And so now that is about it with the minifigs. 
and onto the one small side build, which is this little speeder bike here. <coughs> All right. So as you can see, it would feel kind of similarly to most previous speeder bikes that we've had, but at least with some newer interesting pieces like this one uh, odd brick and plate piece in there, uh, which, which you can definitely use on some mocks if you want, to, of course. Well, this back, so, which does have some good snot on there, and also with a jumper tile piece on there, and also, and unlike most speeder bikes, has two spots where you can actually sit two figs onto using those little jumpers there and this is which quite neat for that quite unique and different so at least nice to see here and also do have a couple clips on the sides to clip their blasters onto of course but yeah and then the classic handlebar piece on there and for this upper area which these upper parts made with both the Exoforce robot hands and also these little lightsaber hilt-like pieces, but from the Monkey Kid line, but in this light gray color. So, so great to see these outside of Monkey Kid, of course. And from, but one of which, one bars pieces, of which has the classic whip piece curled around representing a wire to it. So that well effective. And this front part, which he has a couple of tiles, or curved tiles there, and also those newer bar-like pieces. Probably used as front blasters or, or something, but yeah. But also, i done really well -y. So this is which does provide plenty of good stuff to it. And especially, uh, great to see, have a couple of mini things sit on to, of course, but yeah. Main build of which is uh, the uh, talk something. I talk dropship. I'm not sure. If you know the true name of this vehicle, comment below, of course. So, this vehicle, from first glance, does look kind of like a pseudo downscaled form of a Republic gunship, of course. Well, well, from first glance, but at least with all pure gray, dark gray, and also a little bit of yellowing to it instead of being all white with dark red and green, like that. And so now, for the front part of the vehicle, I see the shaping of which done real gratefully. You know, like with these quarter-ish pieces, it's all put in different positions, and also with a swivel joint somewhere in there, in there, which if you get, uh, you'll have to get this to find out. And it does have one Technic pin piece sticking out there, representing another blaster in the front. But well, all of this which done gratefully, kind of similarly to like the helmet sets and things. And as for the side bit of which, as you see, done with the gold bars in this odd gray coloring, and also the Nexonite shields and. Also a sticker on there, so there's very few stickers in this set. And also farther down, have this odd thing, a sticker that has some sort of odd symboling to it. Not sure what that's about. And as for the wing bits, which do have those large corner pieces, and also a stickered tile with a couple of yellow stripes going down it. And also, as for these engine bits, or as you refer to as the large turrets on a Republic gunship, of course, which has these couple gears in the classic uh, cylinder kind of pieces there, and that of which done really well for that. And uh, from the back side of which, as you see, it does have those like classic wheel pieces acting as extended bits for these engines of course and also one of those pieces held on with a uh, what uh, flip fire missile piece of course and do have a few jumpers on the top part of which and also 
grilled pieces for greebling, and this back section does have some good greebling details to it. Like, good use of some of these pieces for that, and also a little clip piece for you to pinch onto and uh, pull on down. But, although, nothing going on with that, except for a couple of clips to clip a, a blaster onto, of course. And also, some thin green pieces on there, which that kind of stick out a bit. But at least with this covering it, it's well concealed. And as for this, also for the, also on top of which, I do have a couple of the newer blaster pieces, or newer stud shooter. There's which form a turret that swing, which is back and forth, and also do have one of those connecting to a recent candle piece and connecting to one of those uh, odd T bar like pieces, which done well effectively. And of course, you can like tap on these and they shoot like so. Well, if hard enough. And also these wings of which you can get just swish right up in its in its like landed position. And as for this uh, windshield cockpit area, which as you see, same piece as the Inquisitor transport scythe, but in regular translucent color instead of trans red, uh, which but also the same piece from the Speed Champions line, but it's of used really well for this. And the appearance of which, immaculate, great. And if you move this aside and can open it on up, then you can see a slight bit of interior space, like have a 2x4 plate and 2x2 plates used as all control paneling and a single uh, seat on there. But also it provides enough room for a mini fig to sit in, of course. And also close right up and done very well. -ly. And as for these parts of which you can swivel downwards. And also or bolt downwards and got enough space to access and place mini figs onto. Of course, and as you see like little fire hydrant piece like in the center and also next to it is a little crate and both of which are held on a uh, single jumpers of course and this crate of which inside is just nothing maybe it's where you can place your extra shots for your stud shooters into if you wanted or just have somewhere in the back part but yeah and all you can see how well that works with with these technic beams all inside there and yeah and you can close on up like so So now on to with the final verdict on this one. So overall, I think this is which a I think this is which a quite good set uh, for how it is. Well, you know, also a fair enough good way to get yourself excited for the Andor series coming on to Disney Plus quite soon, when, or very soon whenever you're watching this. Like, you get three good exclusive minifigs, and especially an all-new version of Cassian Andor, of course, and also, and also, and also two unique builds to which, like, all-new version of a speeder bike, and also a quite odd vehicle, which, despite being kind of chunky, but still quite effective, of course. And also, got, also provides plenty of accessibility, like, with the Razor Crest and, uh, yeah, and the Falcons, of course. 
well, despite being quite uh, short, small and all, but also this would, for the price of $70, this would quite small for that. Well, although the uh, Tidarium shuttle from last year also kind of what uh, also was that, but also for that. But you know, this is a newer age Lego, and also the Star Wars licensing and whatnot. But, yeah. but at least, still fair enough. And if you're getting excited for Andor, and or then definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your uh, collection, start your Andor collection, or at least get this for your Rogue One display collection, also definitely pick this up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.